Anybody know if they cut the axle down or got the right axle? Where's Ron? Ronnie! Yeah? Do we, do we have the right axle for the mid-glide? You guys should have had it when you mocked huh? it up. When you mocked it up, you should have had it, right? American Chopper the Series is a reality documentary TV show produced by Pilgrim Films and Television, which aired from 2003 to 2019. The series followed the crew of Orange County Choppers, generally known as OCC, a custom motorcycle fabrication company located in Montgomery, New York State, led by Paul Tuttle Sr. and his son Paul Tuttle Jr., originally focusing on the creative differences between the two and their complex father-son relationship. The show took a big hit in 2008 when Paul Jr. left OCC to pursue his own business. Since then, American Chopper has been on and off the air for years, but is still considered to be one of the best automotive reality shows out there. Jason Poole joined the cast in 2006 and remained on the show until its cancellation. An industrial designer by trade, Jason quickly became one of the series' most prominent stars. But it appears that a lot has changed in his life since we last saw him on American Chopper. The staff of OCC were the heart of the series for more than 16 years. The company was founded by Paul Tuttle Sr. back in 1999 debuting the first bike, nicknamed True Blue, at the 1999 Daytona Bike Toberfest. Initially, Paul Sr. was busy with his other company, Orange County Ironworks, and only wanted to build 5 to 10 motorcycles per year. But the demand for their builds quickly increased, prompting him to expand his business and commit to it full-time. As a result, Paul Sr. left his old company in the hands of his son, Daniel, while his other two sons, Michael and Paul Jr., helped him run his new motorcycle business. In 2002, they were contacted by Discovery Channel, who wanted them to star in their upcoming reality show. Along with building custom motorbikes for American Chopper, OCC launched their own limited edition production line of motorcycles in 2007, with a starting price of $31,000. One of their most well-known custom builds is that specifically created to commemorate the New York firefighters who lost their lives in the 9-11 attacks. Nicknamed the Fire Bike, the motorcycle was modeled on a fire truck featuring a steel rivet that came out of the collapsed World Trade Center building. Due to the popularity of the show, the U.S. Air Force commissioned OCC to make them a custom bike, valued at $150,000, which was modeled on the F-22 Raptor fighter jet, complete with Air Force symbols. American Chopper premiered on Discovery Channel on the 31st of March 2003, initially starring Paul Tuttle Sr., Paul Tuttle Jr., Nick Hansford, Rick Petko, and Christian Walter, along with now former employees of OCC, Vincent DiMartino and Cody Connolly. Michael Tuttle also frequently appeared as the shop's custodian and webmaster, also providing comic relief for the viewers. Interestingly enough, OCC were not Discovery Channel's first choice for the show. In fact, the decision to focus the series on them was a last-minute call. As the series producer Craig Pilligan revealed in his interview with the financial magazine Forbes, I switched the motorcycle shop the night before shooting. It was a Tuesday night, and in my last conversation with the shop that I was going to use in New Hampshire, I didn't feel that they had the right mindset, Pilligan said. The shooting for the pilot episode started the next morning. Aside from documenting the process of building custom motorcycles, American Chopper also covered personal relationships between the cast members, which were often quite tumultuous and full of drama. OCC proved to be a high-pressure environment. Tight deadlines combined with high expectations from customers often increased tensions between cast members. In many ways, American Chopper served as a blueprint for other family-driven reality shows, which are widely popular today. In 2008, one of the show's biggest stars, Paul Jr., was fired from the OCC and the show, following numerous disagreements with his father. Around the same time, the show moved from Discovery Channel to TLC. Then, in April the following year, Jr. launched his own business, Paul Jr. Designs. In response, Paul Sr. filed a lawsuit against him, aiming to force him to sell his 20% share in OCC which was eventually ruled in Junior's favor. The tensions culminated in 2010, when Paul Tuttle Sr. refused to attend his son's wedding. However, later in the same year, Junior returned in the first series spin-off entitled American Chopper Sr. vs. Junior, which mainly chronicled the aftermath of Junior's departure from OCC and aired for two seasons before it was canceled in 2012. Paul Sr. returned to the TV screens in 2013 in the second spin-off from American Chopper entitled Orange County Choppers American Maid which featured him and his team as they built some of the most complex projects of their careers. In the following year, Discovery Channel aired a special, American Chopper Shack Bike, featuring the building of a custom chopper for the now former National Basketball Association star Shaquille O'Neal. After a four-year-long hiatus from TV, the cast finally returned for a new season of American Chopper in 2018. The revival season showed brand new motorcycle builds and a surprising twist, Junior's return after 10 years of having a poor relationship with his father. 
the series came to a definitive conclusion in 2020, with the airing of a special episode entitled The Last Ride, which showed Junior and Senior working on a custom chopper together for the first time in years. During its 17 years long run, American Chopper left a significant mark on pop culture. It inspired two video game titles, a pinball arcade game, and a Comedy Central parody series, American Body Shop. Furthermore, the infamous scene of Paul Sr. firing Paul Jr. was turned into an exploitable meme comic, which went viral in 2011 and has since spawned innumerable iterations. Jason Paul was featured in American Chopper from Season 4. He earned his Bachelor of Fine Arts degree in Media Arts and Animation from Illinois Institute of Art in 2004 and started his career at Incredible Technologies later in the same year. One of the first projects he worked on was a digital pinball prototype licensed by OCC and was responsible for digitally modeling all the choppers featured in the game. Paul Tuttle Sr. liked his work so much that he invited him to join his company. Two years later, he became a regular on American Chopper and was featured as their lead designer. During his time with OCC, he designed more than 300 motorcycles. But nowadays, Jason works for Dassault Systems, along with serving as an ambassador for the software brand SolidWorks. He has also started his own company called Jason Paul Designs, through which he offers a wide variety of services, including product design, 3D printing, and strategic brand development. According to his LinkedIn profile, Paul parted ways with OCC in March 2020, following their move to Florida. In an interview he gave in 2021, Jason opened up about his time there. I'll never forget the day I met Paul, and he introduced me to his son, Paulie. I was 21 years old, and I looked into these guys and thought, well, these guys are passion-driven. This is awesome, he said. Jason also revealed that he stayed on good terms with his former boss, despite having several clashes with him in the past, and still considers him to be one of his biggest inspirations. As for his private life, Jason is a married man and the proud father of four. He often posts about his children and wife on his Instagram account, at Poli, along with sharing his latest designs. Although his children are still very young, Jason has revealed that he tries to introduce them to his work as much as he can and let them explore their creative side. As of April 2022, Jason's net worth has been estimated at more than $500,000. As for the rest of the American Chopper cast, some haven't been as fortunate in their post-show life. Paul Tuttle Sr. in particular has had a series of legal issues. In 2018, he was sued by his former business partner, Thomas Derbyshire, who argued that Paul used the money Thomas invested into Orange County Chopper's American Made for personal use. Tuttle Sr. furthermore attempted to change his ownership deal with Derbyshire from 51-49 to 50-50 behind his back. Derbyshire also accused his former business partner of obstructing the series' production by habitually showing up late to the set or not showing up at all while also making product placement deals without his knowledge. In July the same year, Tuttle Sr. was invited to a mediation hearing in another lawsuit involving JTM Motorsports Inc., who sued him for failing to promote the company in exchange for free work on his Corvette. As the online magazine Page Six reported, Sr. became agitated during the process and started screaming at JTM representatives to give him his car back. Security had to intervene to prevent a physical altercation and remove Tuttle from the courtroom. In March 2018, only one day before the premiere of the American Chopper revival season, Tuttle Sr. filed for bankruptcy, but his plea was dismissed. Apparently, due to the fact that Paul didn't supply sufficient documentation, he eventually managed to get back on his feet by selling his old house and was later able to expand his business. After OCC had operated in Orange County, New York for more than 20 years, in 2020, they relocated to St. Petersburg, Florida. The city on the western coast of the state is known to be a mecca for the motorcyclists, with some of its main attractions being a Harley-Davidson dealership and the Roadhouse Museum. Nowadays, OCC has expanded its operation to include a bar and restaurant, along with a gift store, which sells American Chopper merchandise. Aside from expanding the business, the year 2020 brought more legal issues for Paul Sr. Namely, he was sued by a professional photographer named Scott Gunnels, who alleged that Paul's company illegally used his work on two pieces of American Chopper merchandise. The court ruled in Gunnell's favor, requiring Paul to pay more than $280,000 in damages. His son, Paul Tuttle Jr., still runs his own company in New York State, which has expanded into apparel and personal branding. In recent years, Jr. has had renowned clients such as Paramount and Blizzard Entertainment, so it's safe to assume that his business is doing more than well. Despite all the drama that happened between him and his father, Paul Jr. now looks back at the whole ordeal as a blessing in disguise. In his interviews with the website Inquisitor, Paul said, on September 28, 2008, in a scene that millions of viewers of the American Chopper reality TV show watched on Discovery Channel, my father booted me from the Orange County Chopper's custom motorcycle building company, of which I was part owner, and that turned out to be one of the best things that could have happened to me at the time. It just took a while to realize that. 
His brother Michael also left the show and has been working on his struggle with alcohol addiction, which were documented in American Chopper. He took time off to go into rehab and explore his creativity through painting and cooking. Michael has since returned to his father's business as assistant general manager and on the side has partnered with a chef known as Angry Mike, with whom he co-runs a sauce-making company. One of the early fan favorites, Vincent DiMartino, left the show back in 2007 to start his own business called V-Force Customs. However, the company didn't last in the market for very long, and Vincent briefly rejoined the show, but now works for Paul Jr. The failure of his first solo business endeavor led Vincent to start another company, DiMartino Motorsports Automotive and Truck Repair, which is still operating in Walden, New York State. During his time on the show, the youngest cast member Cody Connolly was considered a real prodigy. He was fresh out of high school, but showed incredible craftsmanship for his age. He left the show in 2007 to join Vincent's V-Force Customs, but Cody eventually abandoned working with motorcycles altogether and now works for a utility company. Rick Petko, who did all kinds of metalwork on American Chopper, has also left OCC. He now works at Ponaco Mountain Harley-Davidson, tackling their custom fabrication contracts while making and selling metalware on the side. Some of his best-selling products are custom chef knives. Thank you for spending some time with us. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpick these videos which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question in the comments below. Thank you for being with us and we'll see you back tomorrow.